Julius Caesar is widely regarded as one of the most competent military commanders of the ancient world. His tactical and strategic decisions during the Gallic Campaign, especially during the Battle of Alesia, solidified his position as one of the greatest military masterminds of antiquity. But less than a year before his complete dominance over the Gauls, the Roman general experienced his first defeat at Gergovia. In the year 52 BC, the Gallic Wars were entering their final stages, with the Romans asserting their dominance over the hostile Gallic tribes of the north. After several successful sieges and beating the Gauls at the Battle of Noviodunum, the Roman legions were marching deep into Gallic territory. The alliance opposing Caesar consisted of several tribes who were hostile to the Romans, the largest of which were the Arverni, with their leader versing Gerarex, an established military commander in his own right. After being pushed back by the Romans, Vercingetorix and his troops were forced to retreat to the Averni capital of Gergovia. The city was located on mountainous terrain, heavily fortified, and with a layout that made it easy to defend. Therefore, it provided the Gauls with a significant advantage in a potential engagement. This is why upon arriving at Gergovia, Caesar decided to lay siege and he managed to cut off the Gaul supplies to the city, awaiting their eventual surrender. While Caesar was besieging the Averni capital, the Aedui, a Gallic tribe allied to the Romans, were tasked with protecting the supply line of the besieging army. However, the Aedui leaders were persuaded by Vercingetorix to turn on the Romans, and they started to attack the Roman convoys instead of protecting them, forcing Caesar to split his army in order to deal with the situation. Two of Caesar's six legions stayed at Gergovia to maintain the siege while he and the remainder of the Roman army turned back to stop the Aedui from raiding their supplies. The rebellious Aedui were promptly defeated and brought back to the side of the Romans. Caesar then returned to Gergovia with an additional 10,000 Aedui horsemen by his side. Caesar's next goal was to lure the Averni off of their advantageous position. To do this, he separated one of his legions to serve as a decoy as the rest of his army marched on, capturing three Averni camps. He then ordered his troops to stop the assault and retreat, but his orders were not heard by a large part of his force, who instead decided to assault the walls of the city. As the Aedu cavalry arrived to assist the Roman troops, in the heat of the moment, the legionaries mistook them for the Averni, causing a large brawl to erupt between the two armies. Seeing the chaos in the Roman positions, Vercingetorix ordered a full assault, dealing heavy casualties to the Romans. Caesar had no choice but to lift the siege and retreat, concluding the battle with a Gallic victory. According to Caesar, 40 centurions and 700 legionaries died at Gergovia, although modern historians are extremely skeptical of these figures, some putting the Roman losses at 30,000. Despite dealing Caesar his first military defeat, Vercingetorix was unable to capitalize on his momentary success and deal a decisive blow to the Roman troops. Eventually, Caesar was able to regroup and refill his ranks with fresh troops. The Gallic campaign ended that same year, with Caesar defeating Vercingetorix at the Battle of Alesia. There, the Romans were able to decisively defeat the Arverni and capture their chieftain in battle, thus ending the Roman-Gallic Wars of the 1st century BC.